Pounders, we are back. And today, we are hoping to fill the biggest board draft. If you guys were in the last stream with us, we didn't end up getting to fire off our third bullet. So here we are. We're waiting on seven people. We're going to give this a few minutes, see if we can get some people to jump in here with us. In other news, the CSV rankings have been sent out to the Patreon and YouTube memberships, the maxers, I should say, on YouTube memberships. If you guys are interested, the links are in the description of the video there. Almost filled on our big board entries as well. We're at 130 entries, and we've been sharing our exposures with the YouTube memberships as well as the Patreon members. And that's been a crazy ride of emotions of free combine, post combine, free agency, mostly good news for our exposures. I would say the only, the only mishaps, maybe last round Chris Rod doesn't really matter too much because the way we were drafting him, I mean, it made sense at the time before Eckler gets there. Uh, and then the Chicago running backs. And I'm curious if you guys think, is there a chance we get a little lucky with Khalil Herbert getting traded maybe the day of the draft? That's sort of, that's sort of my hope. And I still think there's a small, a small hope for, for this exposure here. I've been drafting him when he falls to like 190 still. Like he's, he's been sliding and I can't help it. I'll f I can't help it. I'll just fall on the sword, I guess. And it's not too bad now drafting him at 190 versus where he was going at what, like 145. And even then, if you miss there, it's, it's not the end of the world, especially based on some of the other risers we've, we've smashed on. And the closing line values, really what I stress, especially in the draft guide, as well as, as, well as our CSV rankings. Um, it's funny because I've made the mishap of calling them CLV rankings, and that's kind of the way I look at it. Trying to get better price on players than early drafters, than later drafters, players I think that are still mispriced. And, and yeah, so that's been fun. Let's jump into a big board. And if this fills, we will jump over to the biggest board, but we're not going to make you guys wait. We're waiting on seven for the big board, a regular big board draft. We have, this is number 131. Almost there. And I am going to, let me see. Let's do this. Let's do this over here. Let's go. Ben's in here. Bendo's too cool. Rad ER7. Might miss the stream in the middle of a 10 hour labor delivery with my wife. It's a pretty good excuse. <laughs> we will give you that one. Go tend to the wifey, man. Congrats. Congrats. Hope everything goes as smooth as possible. I know that, sh that shit isn't smooth, but as smooth as possible. Prayers up. Um, Al's in here. Bright H. Bobert. Logan, Investor Better, Josh, Omega King. What's up, guys? Dennis, you dead, my son. Everyone is in here. Everyone's thirsty, thirsty for the drafts. This is a big board, and we have, we're waiting on four here, but we are also still in the biggest board. So if you want to join us in that, that's the $100 entry, three max. That is the goal. That is the goal to switch over to that when it fills. We pray. And since you guys got here early, let's throw this. This is a link to a Pounders private draft. There's two spots left. It's just a cash game, $5 entry. We're waiting on five for the biggest board now. Yes, please. Yes, please. Jump on in. Jump on in, Omega. Waiting on five. Waiting on five. And here is our big board draft. Let's see what we get. Okay, we're at 10. Sort of expected. Sort of expected. King of QC in the 12 spot. Let's go. BFFL at four. And that's all. Those are the only names I recognize right now. Draft to win, I've definitely drafted with, but don't believe he is a pounder. Let me go back to over here. This is what I was going to do. Mm -mm -mm. NFL. Come here. Okay. I'm going to see if that works now. If we refresh this page. Okay. 
we have officially gone rogue on our rankings. We got to respect. We got to respect the people that are showing the support. Love you guys. Love you guys. We get the 10 spot. And previously, those first couple weeks, getting the Garrett Wilson, AJ Brown was fun. Now, post pre, post combine, post, you know, free agency for the most part, at least some of the bigger, bigger names for wide receivers and running backs. Kyron and JT aren't that bad of picks, in my opinion, though, especially when Zach Moss takes off. LA doesn't add anyone. Sure, there are some people in the draft that could take some snaps away, but Kyron's role should be relatively safe. So yeah, I've definitely been scooping up a little more Kyron. He's been falling to 16, 17. I think people are still, still sort of fading him. And I'm cool with bringing up Saquon above both of these guys as well. I think that's something that you'll continue to see for, for Best Ball Mania 5. We get CMC at one, Bijan at two, Lamb and Chase. Not the craziest thing I've ever seen. We have seen a Bijan at one, and it's not that far off. I sort of think the way you should be thinking about it as well is can that guy you're drafting outscore the other player in that range in a one game contest? And yeah, all, all these guys can. And if you're taking a stance like that, the problem I have with it is okay. What percent of lamb are you getting? If you're going Bijan here at two, are you comfortable with getting 1%, 2% lamb? Because lamb's not typically falling to the three all that often. So that's the only concern I have with that. If you want to bring Bijan at three, I think that's fine. But currently we have him ranked four. Alpha using the ranks. Dude, we... We drafted a team earlier today just based on the rankings. And uh, that team came out fire. <laughs> that team came out fire. We're at the one spot. The only thing that could have gone better was at 168 if we could have got Johnny Smith. Someone did reach up. Crazy. They must have had the rankings. They reached up. It was at 166 or 167 right before we can get Johnny. And then on the way back around at 192, 193, Someone reached up for Giuseppe. So I'm trying to get my third tight end to pair with Bowers and Fant. At this point, I go Fant. Um, someone reached up for Giuseppe. Those sharp, sharp drafters. Sharp, sharp drafters. <laughs> Got to give them a little credit. Let's see the biggest board if that is still continuing to... Still waiting on five. And we're waiting on one more for this private draft. Pounder's private draft. If you guys are interested in that, just a $5, $5 entry. Kyron Gibbs and Brown off the board. J Puppy, this name's familiar too. This name is familiar too. 20 likes for free sub. We're going to be doing a free YouTube membership giveaway at 35 likes today. I know you guys can hit it. Let's go Bark Box here. Let's get the Bark Box in here. We'll bring, we'll bring in Barkley here at 15. Collins goes off the board at 16. Oh, man, I got excited for a second. I thought I saw waiting on one person. I thought this was for, uh, I thought that was for the biggest board. It's okay. It's okay. Edgar, welcome to the live stream, man. Says, sub pound. New sub here. Found you yesterday and got me hooked. I was going over my drafts on underdog and side draft with you on the little board. Let's just say a lot has changed since then. I would love if you could find that team. Uh, let me know what your underdog name is too. But I'd love to see our our two squads. You should jump in the jump in the Discord and post those in the the draft grade section. I'll take a look at it after the stream. Wicked funny. <laughs> the little draft. The little board was a wild one. We uh, we did not care about ADPs for that contest. <laughs> We just went and got our guys. We didn't care about our exposures either. We just drafted where we thought the risers were going to be, basically. DJ Moore at 19. My question is, where is DJ Moore going to fall to? Like, after the dust settles, Keenan Allen comes in, and Keenan Allen is, he's a receiver that gets there off volume. I have DJ Moore dropping a few picks. Just behind a few of these guys, 
it's not a huge slide, but I still think he should fall. Yeah, his ADP is already 21.4. London should boost ahead of him for sure. Adams, in my opinion. Even Ayuk. Waiting on four for the biggest board. Oh, this thing's filling, baby. This thing's filling. We're going to the moon. It's going to happen tonight. Josh Allen and CD Lamb. Excuse me. CMC, Debo, and Tank Dell. Wow. Nothing too crazy here. And that's where I think, like, if Tank Dell is in the same tier as DK Metcalf or in the same tier as Waddle, I think you could be mixing those guys in at the one spot just to get a little different. Let's say you have, let's say you're overexposed to CMC. You've been lucky you got 9 or 10% of the one spot. I wouldn't just go ADP, ADP. Especially with this huge group of wide receivers that you can pair a lot of them in the same tier. Maybe I'd put Evans at the top of this group. Evans, DK, Rice, Neighbors. But this is a fun one on the CSV to rank too. BFFL brings in Waddle. I like the Waddle pick. Alan Laporte, CD Lamb will balance start here for the three spot. Back to five on the biggest board. Fail. Rice off the board at 29. Little slide for Rice, which is fine. Okay, so it looks like we're going to get one of these four, which is, in my opinion, huge for starting with an RB as well. Let's see who they leave us with. Evan's gone. It's probably going to be. And I like this reach up on Jacobs. I would. I, I like DK slightly more just because the wide receiver fall off right now, especially with the unknown where these rookies are going to land post draft. But we are above ADP on Jacobs. So I think this is actually a really sharp place to bring him in. Now where we start with the running back. Uh, RB, RB receiver. It's kind of tough to come back from 39. Your second receiver is looking like you're hoping Smith or Cup are on the board. Sure, T. Higgs, small reach down, but I like to have three receivers after four rounds. But I do like this. I think this is sharp. Just getting Josh Jacobs right before ADP right now. And it's funny, right? Like you have people like Herzig that are boosting Jacobs off ETR. Other influencers boosting Jacobs. Like, I believe he belongs in this range. That's why we were so heavy on Aaron Jones early. Same situation. 20 picks. We're talking 20 pick discount. You were getting on, on Aaron Jones at pick whatever, 55. So, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> that situation there uh, wasn't ideal. But he didn't fall too much. What'd he fall? 12 picks. Going to Minnesota. And I think he's in the right range. Which crate? What's crazy is if Kamara passes him, like that's going to be weird for me. Not a big Kamara guy. I like Smith here. Okay, it goes Keenan Allen. I don't I don't necessarily love Keenan Allen going to Chicago. Just because I think he needs he needs the volume. Yeah, like you can assume he's getting an upgrade to QB. Rookie QB's not historically great for producing multiple wide receiver ones. <laughs> so DJ Moore might be the more volatile guy, but I think Keenan Allen should slide a little bit. But yeah, that Aaron Jones click early was uh was one of our higher exposed guys. And for this reason, like we thought he was severely mispriced. And now you're seeing Josh Jacobs. It's, it's like he he had that role. So why wasn't Aaron Jones flying up? 
and a lot of actually sharp people were on Aaron Jones early. So it wasn't just us. Yeah, it's, dude, the Minnesota landing spots, <laughs> it's mediocre. It's mediocre. But if they bring in, like, J.J. McCarthy, this is a team that could rely on the run. So I still don't mind him, especially at pick 69 right next to Kamara, right next to David Montgomery, where, I don't know, Demont, I get the high floor thing, but it's just not. I don't think he's like the sexy click in this range. Cash game style, sure, but like 400 plus 558 team final, Dave Montgomery. And end of the season where you think Gibbs is going to be firing on all cylinders. Not my favorite. Up in seven clicks. And you can see like the Pittman, the Pittman ADP aligns really well with the A rich. So this is very common for the 10 or 11 spot that goes whatever. And Pittman, I think, kind of fell in this room, didn't he? I think 35. Yeah, he fell five spots. McBride off the board, that would have been one of our clicks. T. Higgs goes at 53. Damn. Damn. What percent of drafters are going A rich with Pittman, too? I'd say a, a large majority. Obviously, it's a Russian QB, so you don't need that correlation there. I feel like Pittman is a little expensive. Pick 35 is a little more reasonable, though. Uh, Kirk here. Yes, please. And th thank you. All right. What's our next two picks? We can sort of plan this out. 82 and 87. Good range for tight ends. 82 and 87. Yeah, here it is. A rich with Pittman. Three spots left in the biggest board. Brian Thomas Jr. off the board. I'm tempted to just go tight end here. Reason being, and I guess we'll find out, Ingram doesn't fall to 82 anymore. <laughs> He's not at that spot. So if Ingram's off the board and Bowers are both off the board, I'm going to be mad I didn't get one of these tight ends. So that's the way we're going to go. We're going to go Kyle Pitts here. Also opens up a QB stack. Yeah, this one, this one's close. I'll have to check back on the rankings, but I'm pretty sure I have Kirk over, over Terry there. With the departure of Ridley, dude, Christian Kirk's just going to have a high floor. You don't need him to have the highest ceiling, especially like the way we draft. We bring in a bunch of rookie wide receivers. They tend to start slower at the beginning of the year. A player like Kirk can help you there. And he should have a relatively high ceiling still. And that's why I don't believe the, the fall of ETN. Like something has to give. There's something about this narrative that isn't right. Like, oh yeah, we're going to give Tank Bigsby more carries okay well you can't give them fewer than last year so that's obvious um but they're gonna rely on the run i would think just like they did last year they ran the ball up so i still like etn he's falling which is strange to me and then i like kirk so i don't know right right now sure they could bring in another receiver in the draft i think they have to but I'm I'm high on Kirk and Ingram right now going into the season. Just fits our draft style too. Kincaid, Kittle off the board. Kittle before Kincaid. 
Not a big fan of that. Waiting on two people for the Vegas board. Let's go. Let's go. It's filling. Plus two, plus two. If you guys are just joining us, go down, slap the like on the live stream. We're going to be doing a YouTube membership giveaway to a subscriber in the live stream, in the comments. So we're 17 away. It's definitely going to hit. It's definitely going to hit. 35 likes, we'll be doing a YouTube membership giveaway. Jordan Love at 75 to pair with Allen. This dude's got one receiver through seven rounds. He was gifted CD Lamb at pick three, and this is what he did with it. Hate to see it. You hate to see it. You absolutely hate it. It's tough. One person the biggest board. Waiting on one person for the biggest board. Who's got $100 ready to burn? CSM Trucking's in the live stream. What's up, my man? <laughs> James Conner off the board would have been one of the clicks we were looking at. There goes Ingram at 76. If Bowers goes off, I'm happy about the Kyle Pitts selection. If Bowers is still there, dude, maybe we just go two tight ends in this spot. Bowers to the Jets, maybe bring in Rodgers to go with Garrett Wilson. Huge brain. Huge brain potential. It's there. And then we're going to click one of these RBs on the way back around. So we're done at tight end. This saves a roster spot on the back end, which I like doing. And we're balanced as fuck right now, which I love. Don't need to go wide receiver in this range. This is the range you want to be clicking, in my opinion, running back and tight end. QB as well. Kyler, some of these QBs in this range. Joe Burrow. One more for the biggest board. We've had a, a four spot and a two spot. But we've <laughs> we we've been a massive spoon so far for our uh our high stake entries both on the front half and then we just wasted a the 10 spot here so maybe that was a good thing oh king of qc takes two rbs we like in this range even david montgomery here is reasonable 10 picks after adp uh J Pup, I don't think is going another running back here, but we'll see. We'll see what he does. Is anyone we feel like reaching up for? We do have a rookie super aggressively ranked in this range. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Let's bring in Mostert. I need to get a RB in this range. I have Mostert right in front of Pollard, I think. It's going to be very similar, in my opinion, timeshare-wise. Maybe Pollard does get more work, but on a team that is probably making less red zone trips. So it sort of balances out. One person still. Waiting on one. Myers off the board. Najoku off at 88. Let's peak King of QC's squad so far. Gibbs, AJ Brown, Hertz, ETN, McLaurin, Marquise Brown goes RB, RB. These four RBs, I would have definitely liked to get one of those. I did not see that coming. King of QC has four RBs. He's J Puppy has four RBs. You win some, you lose some there. Oh, and it filled. Come on, baby. All right, we're on the back end. We deserve it. We deserve it. We deserve it. We can't complain. I would have loved to get like six, get Bijan or Brees. We get nine. 
So we're probably going to, we're guaranteed Garrett Wilson, AJ Brown. If Puka's is there, this will be interesting. Hey, all right. We got some familiar names here. And on the back end, the badgeless back end. Omega in the one spot, Dennis in the three. Go Vikes in the four. Go Vikes. What's what's the name on YouTube? I know it doesn't match up. That's gonna throw me off. That's gonna throw me off. All right. So this contest is 53% full. I just love like low rake, more monies to the drafters, 20k up top, 10k to second, half a first, and then a nice steady drop off. One G note, two G notes. Small final, 34 team final. Make the final you're guaranteed to make a profit. Three max, $100 entry, four out of 12 advance. Love this structure. Can't say enough. We still have to sort of pay attention to what's going on here, too. We don't want to burn, we don't want to burn 10 bucks, especially when we can win 200, 200, 1,000 bucks. All right, this one's underway, though. CMC goes off the board at one. Tyreek at two. Dennis. Dennis. Let's see. Let's see who he does. Bijan at three. He had his mind made up. He had his mind made up. Oh, this is this is already this is already a fun room. Did not disappoint. This did not disappoint. What's up, Frank? Welcome to the live stream, man. Yeah, the feels here. The feels. Half point PPR. I'm I'm still cool with Moster in this in this spot. Uh AD Mitchell's not here. That would have been ideal. Um uh, let's go Troy Trey Benson here. These guys shouldn't be going running back. If they do, I'm gonna be pissed at them. <laughs> We can go T-Law, even though I don't think he's really the best value here. Maybe we bring up Kurt Cousins to this spot to pair with Pitts for this squad. All right. CD Lamb at four. What a gift. What an absolute gift. God. I would love Brees Hall at pick nine, but it's just not going to happen. This guy's on auto. This guy might be on auto at seven. A Monrat nine? Not gonna happen. We're probably just gonna bring in Garrett Wilson here. Two teams on auto here. Oh man. Oh come on. They're just gonna scoop all the falling values. It's gonna be tough. Yeah, he's gotta be on auto. Yeah, people people probably want Puka here, but I'm going Garrett Wilson. It's back on me in this room, and we want to focus Rodgers, obviously. We can focus Geno late for this team. And then who would our third QB be? We, maybe we get a T-Law fall. We're going to risk it. We're going to go four RBs, four receivers, two tight end start. It's going to be a three QB team anyways. Whether we get whether we draft T Law there or not, so okay, at least these guys are here. So Garrett Wilson to pair with who? We might get a same start as our big board team. Yeah, vape vape says feels like there's more auto drafters in his high in high stakes. Yeah, it's true. It's because they take so long to fill. People forget that they're in the room. We might have three auto drafters in this one. Nope, this guy's here. Gibbs at 12. Alex, I'm very close. I, I probably want those exposures to be near even. I would like Garrett Wilson to be over 8%. I want to be near even on Puka.
I think Garrett Wilson Saquon might be a little more unique combination reaching on both players ADP wise. This guy on auto. Nope. He's just taking it all the way down. Yeah, so reaching up on two players based on ADP in a high stakes draft. I don't think a lot of people are going to do that. So it's a quick way to get different in a finals. It's like the it's like the squads that started CD Lamb last year and then reached up a couple spots on Devontae Adams and that absolutely nutted. He brings in JT. This guy should be going Nico. <laughs> if you guys watched our last high stakes draft, or if not, go watch it after this. There was an auto drafter that auto drafted the whole draft and ended up with a live team. And it was better than it was better than 50% of the, the drafters in that room. That was uh that was painful. You were just waiting for them to draft like five QBs or like four tight ends. Now he did end up with just one tight end, but it was Kittle and it was a falling Kittle because he's on auto draft. So he got a falling value potentially. Kittle could still get him to the promised land. Kittle could definitely be a value at pick 70.5. He doesn't even have to hit 170. He goes back down to like 150, 155. He's still like that drafter is still live. It's funny. And four out of 12 advance. Yeah, $100 auto draft is uh, not what you want to be doing with your bankroll. That's for sure. All right, JJ and HN, Jamar Chase and London. Nothing too crazy for starts. Pretty much all based on ADP. The Bijan, Bijan Ayuk might be a little different because of Bijan's ADP at, what, five and a half? But I think he goes at six still. Let's see if Jefferson's... Oh, no. Jefferson's finally behind him, officially. Diggs, DJ Moore, Tyree Kill. For Omega, CMC, Jalen Hurts, Devonta Smith. So getting a different combination here. But do you reach up a tier? Like you're bringing in Devonta Smith, I think, who might be outside a tier here. But if you can get that team to the finals, definitely be unique. So this, <laughs> this ended up working out for us. We put off T-Law, and this is the range I'm comfortable drafting him in. Obviously, Kirk Cousins is off the board at 119. He doesn't even go to the London team, which is just kind of sad. And then we're hoping for Rodgers here. T-Law, Rodgers to pair with Garrett Wilson, potentially Brock Bowers to the Jets would be cool for this team. Rice, Debo, Dell, Olave, two auto drafts. We get Jalen Waddle. I'd be stoked. I'd be stoked. Get a little Miami Jets correlation, potential week 17. Yeah, we get Rodgers over here. This draft is going well for us. Obviously, we need to pick up at wide receiver now, but bringing in Geno Smith as our third QB with Metcalf, we don't have to draft a running back for a little bit. We're bringing some of our favorite rookie receivers. We're stopping at two tight ends. So th that draft's going as per planned. Let's go Waddle here and then on the back end at 40. Maybe another receiver. Let's see who comes back to us, though. Nice. Waddle after ADP. I'm a fan. I'm a fan, even if it is just a few picks. Did he go to the London team on that other draft? Am I just blind? Kirk Cousins. Oh, yeah. I didn't, I didn't look all the way up, I guess. If he was his wide receiver one. So that makes sense. I'm not, I'm not in pain anymore. 
That makes me happy. All right, let's see how many likes we are away from giving away YouTube membership away. It's 11 likes. So 35 likes will be giving away a free YouTube membership to someone in the live stream. I believe you have to be subscribed in order to be eligible. Who do you think was auto drafting? I believe it is the seven spot and eight spot. This guy's got everyone after ADP. Same thing here, and they're both bringing them down to triple zeros. Jacobs goes off the board at 37. Vape says 46 watching, 35 likes. Yeah, but people come in and out, slap the like and leave. Up here at 40. I probably have. I'd probably just rather Lamar. Keenan Allen off the board. I think I'd rather just go Lamar here. Go receiver at 57, potentially at 64 as well. I think I'd rather attack it this way. Let's do this. Let's go Lamar and high stakes. What can go wrong? What can go wrong? Depending who our next QB is, I tend to like to go a little early with Lamar, pair him with someone, I don't know, I'd prefer it to be Goff and under. Stop at two QBs there. Dude, Peng is in the house. Thanks for the five bills, my friend. Says he said in and out. <laughs> You're sick. You're sick. We got to get you back on the live stream, man. I miss you. Oh, man. 57. Andrews at 53, potential he falls. Say Flowers, that would just be a dream. Not going to happen. All right, we're back in this room. We need to pick it back up at receiver. I'm cool going Dotson here, 14 picks after ADP. We also have a little B-Rob Washington correlation going on. I wouldn't mind bringing in Ricky, Marvin Mims. One of those two would be nice to tag on. Cooper Cup goes at 42. Kelsey at 43. Kelsey worries me this year. And not that like the price is overly wrong. I don't mind Kelsey in cash games. I think he's actually very good. He's a very good pick in cash games that you don't have to worry about end of season. You're just cumulative scoring throughout the whole year i think he outpaces his adp but i do worry about end of season usage slowing him down before the playoffs the real playoffs zay off the board at 46 yeah that would have been what were we thinking ricky off the board we should have known king of qc we should <laughs> we should have at least not queued it up Mims here at 159 would be okay. Other than that, we might have to go RB here. Who are QBs? We need Gino with our next click. Uh, does he auto Mims there? Because that's pain. Hmm. I'm good with this group. I think we just go RB here. Check for no Bijan because I've done that before. Don't like doing that. Don't like, don't like doing that. Mahomes off the board at 51. Pair with Rice. Dennis has Bijan, Ayuk, Rice, Zay Flowers, and Mahomes. It's a good start. Trey McBride goes to the Josh Allen team. I like this as well. Tank Dell Stroud gets pulled up to 53. If he wants the combo, he's probably got to do it here because he's not making it back to him with the Nico team having two picks. Just not happening. 
not happening. Seven likes away from that giveaway. Hmm. Rome off the board at 54. Isaiah Pacheco, we need a receiver. So we're just like, get these RBs off the board. We could go Andrews, or we could take the shot that he makes it back. <laughs> I, We could get boxed here pretty easily. I guess we have Godwin as a backup plan. But with Lamar, let's bring in Andrews here and just pray. We're hoping for one of these three. Other than that, I'm cool with bringing Godwin down to uh, pick 64, a little seven-pick reach. Give us a little floor, and again, we'll bring in a bunch of rookie receivers. Godwin back to the slot, too, is has been the, the rumor. Where he, they took him out of the slot because of injuries. Pickens off the board. Did these guys auto click? A rich at 56. All right, this guy might be back. The eight spot might be back. He has been back, I guess, since since the Derrick Henry pick before ADP. This guy might still be on auto though. Every pick after ADP. <laughs> Pickens and McLaurin off the board? Yeah, so that's not going. Ooh, Ridley, that's fine. I think Ridley has to fall. I think Addison's too expensive, too. BTJ off the board. If Godwin goes off, then we'll go Addison, but... We're definitely getting one receiver in this range. And it's... Jonathan Johnson, I think, is getting a little pricey at this point, too. But I guess it depends on who they bring in. You figure they have to they have to draft another receiver. This dude's got five wide receivers. He's probably going to continue drafting receivers then. Not great for us. But this is fine. We got a super balanced start. Most likely going to be a hero running back build. We're going to have to catch back up at receiver. This isn't the best range to do that in. I like the mixing click there for his first receiver. Let's bring in Godwin. Pick 81, 88. Typically a good range for tight ends, running backs, and QBs. Not so much for receiver. But maybe <laughs> is this the CWAT type team? We do bring in a floor guy like Godwin. Mixing in someone like Seawatt could make sense there. Or maybe we just reach up for AD. That could also be the play at 81 or 88. I think that's fine as well. A Rich, Joe Burrow. So now I'm glad. Now I'm glad we have the Lamar click here. Maybe this guy just continues to draft QBs and just pressure the rest of the room. That could end up helping us. And the pounders in the chat all have QBs as well. Go Vikes has Josh Allen, Dennis has Mahomes, and Omega has Jalen Hurts. So that wouldn't hurt the team. Okay, this room, we still need receivers. Polk falls to us. We'll bring in Polk. Oh, I guess someone drafted. Where did Gino go? Oh, I autoed. Max Payne. Where did Gino go, though? Gino went at 160? The fuck? Doesn't even have Lockett. Just like has Kenneth Walker, though. Big board, weird shit. Weird shit going on. Well, at least we got one receiver in that range. Yeah, we autoed. We autoed Kate Auden, which is whatever. 15 picks after ADP. It's fine. We still need a third QB over here, though. T-Law and Rodgers. It wouldn't be the worst double QB pairing, but it it would be nice to get someone. Even Daniel Jones late. I'm fine with risking it with Daniel Jones. 
RBs look good on this team. Receivers look pretty good. We need two more receivers, one more QB, and one more running back. Yep. All right. We get a run at tight end. Pitts, Kincaid, and Kittle off the board. Kincaid pair with McBride and Josh Allen. Three receivers. This is a fun team from the four spot. This is a fun team. Yeah, you dead, my son, says you got to pull up Mike Williams or AD. I agree with that. But I'd also most... I'm most likely going... Yeah, Ingram off the board at 71. This room likes its tight ends. And we do get Andrews to fall to 57, so we are happy about that. It's a pair with Lamar. Up in six picks. I would like to go RB. RB and wide receiver. And then most likely again at 105, 112, probably RB and one receiver again, but we'll see who's on the board. We could mix a tight end into that range. I don't want, we're not doing that. I have an idea. I have an idea. If you guys are just joining us, go down, like, hit the like on the live stream. We're five likes away from giving away a free YouTube membership. If you guys enjoy the high stakes content, hit the subscribe button. We have plenty more coming to you this off season. It has only just begun. All right, we can't miss the other room. We're up in two picks over here as well. Daniel Jones, here we go. Let's click some receivers. <laughs> We're not auto-clicking someone that we don't like again. God damn. Luckily, that was a luxury pick. D-hop off the board at 78. Would we go? Good, we don't even have to think about it. Hmm. Let's bring in Jones over there. Interesting. Interesting. I think we go RB here. Let's go... Let's go, Stevenson. Maybe we get a little lucky with New York Jets versus the Pats or Pats versus Miami. Just adds another combination. <laughs> Omega. Omega. Omega says, thought I'd get one of Kittle or Ingram. Yeah, but I think Ingram sort of belongs in this range. 71 might be a little rich, but it's pretty much spot on. I ha I'd have him over a lot of players in this range. Okay. And this is going to be a Jermaine Burton click. We could, we could even stop at these five RBs, but for what? We're actually really strong at, at receiver, in my opinion. Obviously, we need a hit on one of the rookies, but... If we get one of those two back to us, that's a gift. We'll queue up McMillan as well. Queue up A.T. Perry and then a bunch of RBs. Let's do something like this. Okay, up in six picks. Najee, Najoku, J-Mo, don't reach up. Don't reach up any higher for another receiver, which he might. He's at four. Chill, hoodied. Chill. Easy. Go easy. Make me nervous. He goes Kyler. Yeah. I'm cool with that. Naked Kyler is fine. Small final. I don't think it's a big deal. Bauer's still on the board. Just interesting. Honestly, I'd be happy with either one of these. It might be tough for me to go AD with Bowers on the board. Okay. 
Good. Yeah. If, let us bring up AD to this range. If not, I guess we can go Mike Williams and then bring in Rodgers. Maybe we stop at two QBs and we just say Rodgers is a good value for his range. I think that's fine to go with Lamar as well. You're my boy, Blue. Steer clear. Steer clear. Let's bring in AD, though. Let's let's live a little bit. Let's live a little bit. All right, our team so far for the listeners, Lamar Jackson, Saquon Barkley, Ramondre Stevenson, Garrett Wilson, Jalen Waddle, Chris Godwin, and AD Mitchell with Mark Andrews at tight end to pair with Lamar. This is like our bread and butter. This is just balanced start. We can, you know, we can select any value at any position that follows to us at 105. If there's someone that we like, which is sort of the position I like to be in, we can still get Mike Williams to come back to us at 105. I think it'll take a little bit of, a little bit of luck, but uh, yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Mike Williams, Garrett Wilson, bring in Rogers. Would be happy with that. Not that you need an overly correlated team to win a small final, but just to make a bet on a team and then if it's right, just really blow the other teams out of the water. Make those concentrated bets and build your team around them. Otherwise, we could bring in Tua to pair with Waddle as well. So we have a backup. I like this range, though. It's coming back to us at 105, 112. I like the range. We're up in three picks in the other room. This draft is done in, what, two picks? Gardner Minshew off the board. Oh, God. The boys are going wild in the, in the regular big board. But this is the biggest board. We are in round eight right now, five likes away from the giveaway. Jordan Love at 93, much different than the big board price. So he falls 10 picks here. And Go Vikes gets to pair Jordan Love with nobody. Just naked love. Just loving me some naked love. But does Seawatt fall back? Seawatt's gone. Seawatt's gone. Dobbs? That could have been the thought. Or Wicks. There's plenty of options there, but... All right, there's still a chance that we get a... Uh... Cool, so we actually get Baker in this room. We're done at receiver now. Now running backs. Let's just throw on some dudes. We can actually throw on Eric Gray, too, to pair with Jones. That kid, Otten Otto. Pain. <laughs> Ooh, the two spot snipes. Two spot snipes. But they bring in Brian Robinson, which I think is fine. I'm up in the slow draft too. Just I can't win. I can't win. What do you what do you want from me? What do you want from me? A lot going on. There's a lot going on. <laughs> Come on. Three picks away. Oh, make the dream happen. One of these guys is on auto. So we have to steer clear two picks. Come on, Nick Chubb. He's coming back next week. Does Nick Chubb actually... I mean, you have to at least think about it in this spot. He autos Nick Chubb. God, I saw yellow. This guy, I believe, is on auto still. So this should be Nick Chubb. This guy, I what I say, what did I say? He might be going rogue if he keeps drafting QBs. Oh, he goes to a honestly, probably smart with this guy just being a maniac. This is the range that I believe I have Chubb in. Who has my CSV rankings? Where do I have Chubb ranked? Oh, okay. It's 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 Mike Willie. We played this well. We played this well. We do have to get Rodgers to close the deal, though. Rodgers at 129 to make sure we get him. 
we might have to do that, or we could wait till 136. The teams to our right, there's only one QB between the three teams, so that makes me lean QB at 129. 112 is aggressive. 112 is aggressive. 112 is aggressive. That's, that's too much. You're still competing with other squads. At what point do you draft Nick Chubb, though? It's We're getting to that point. We're getting to that point. Tight end here to Goddard. We can add into this conversation, but I do like some of the values late, so I kind of want to steer clear of Goddard here. Just stick to this range of RBs, I think is nice. Okay. Nick Chubb off the board at 108. 20 picks after ADP. I still think Myers would be relatively close for me. I like Myers in this range too. If we can get Myers, this would be gold. Um, Eckler and Tajay, I think we're getting really close to. Yeah. So this guy double clicks both of them. I think he's been selecting a lot of our BTJ Ridley's meh. Eh, maybe not. The the Josh Jacobs at 37 sharp. <laughs> Why don't I have my rankings up? I should just put them uh I should put them to the right and I can I can open them here, to be honest. I have them right here. Yeah, we have Nick Chubb at 103. So that's where I mean, we needed to go receiver here. I think pairing him with Garrett Wilson and then getting Aaron Rodgers would be sick. But uh, my sensors went off. Like, hey, this is this is the range that I think I start clicking Nick Chubb. Uh, this is probably also the range that we start clicking Eckler as well. Not going to love it. Not going to love it. But we'll do it. 20 picks after ADP. We'll bring in some dust here with that, Claire. Falling on the sword on that one. That's the way that one feels. But on the way back around, we are queuing up Aaron and then a receiver. Falling on the sword. That's what that feels like. Tajay, I think, is close. I might even have Tajay ranked above him. No, I don't. Tajay, I have at like one... 117. Balance start still. I have an idea who I want for tight ends whether that happens or not. And we'll see who falls back to us at receiver. But these QBs could start flying off the board. Not that I... I don't think Rodgers... Like, Rodgers should be safe for us. We have both of his pass catchers. Conklin goes late. Maybe the Bowers team could bring him in. And that's why I think we, we go Rodgers here at 129 before this guy has two selections. This guy's got no QBs. The 10 spot has none, or uh, one, and the 12 spot has one. So the QB onslaught starts. Jaden Daniels is nice for a little naked QB as well. So we have him in between Rodgers and Staffy. So there should be no threat. Dennis is up. He's got Mahomes, Purdy, and Herbert. Really stacked at, at QB. Kittle, Ayuk, to pair with Purdy. Lad off the board. Lad would have been a dream to fall back to us, but that could have been the trap pick because I, I would have been so tempted to go Lad over Rodgers. That might have been bad. That might have been bad.
Chuba off the board. Let's do this. Appreciate you, dude. Said, I'm used to a regular board and have to reach for Mike Will like you read the room. It's also nice to get two players in, in that range, too. 98 and 100. We did have to reach for one, but Daniel's off the board. Man. Come on home, baby. Come on home. This guy's not on auto. See what he does. Imagine fourth QB, Aaron Rodgers, just shoot me right through the heart. We're not messing around here. Teams to our right need QBs. They're falling fast. Uh, I'm all set playing that game. Multiple teams have several elite QBs. This team's got three QBs through seven rounds. Uh, Dennis has three QBs through 10 rounds. It's going to fall off quick, and I am not going to be the one holding the bag, the empty bag at the end of the draft room. Hmm. Mims off the board at 130. Shahid off the board at 131. Let's see what we got. Running backs and receivers. It would be nice to get one of these three RBs in this range before. I don't know. If Algier doesn't come back to me at 160 or 153. Do we need a receiver in this range? Is there someone that we absolutely need? The Curtis Samuel rise I don't think matters too much because this contest open right around that time that it dropped. I want to say it dropped. The contest dropped after that news. So I'm not too worried about that rise. I think one of these RBs would kind of help this room. Not that I need an RB here. It's interesting. We're, we're balanced. So it's RB or receiver here. And I don't like the Curtis Samuel pick as much without Without Josh Allen. Ooh. And RBs are starting to fly now. Dude, where are they posted up? I thought I had this place locked down. My God. Three in a row right off the exposures. Bing, bang, boom. Roman Wilson, welcome to the team. You don't got to ask me twice. All right. I'll go get my guy. That's what you really want me to do. Holy smokes. Wow. That was that was scripted. And they all have like four or five RBs each. Okay. That's what we're doing here. That's what we're doing. Bring in Roman Wilson. I think I have Keon Coleman ranked ahead of him, but you got to go get your guys in high stakes. Got to go get your guys. Baker off the board, so this team's got three QBs now. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. I think we can stop it too. Just based on the room is going to be relatively weak at QB with three teams right now having three QBs early. Wix, there it is. Paired the love with the Wix pick. I knew it was coming. Wicks at 141, right at ADP. Quentin Johnson off the board at 142 to pair with Herbert. I would have grabbed the starter first, Joshua Palmer. I'm just kidding. I, I had to. I had to. 
We are three likes away from giving away a free YouTube membership to someone in the comments that is subscribed to the channel. Go down, slap the like, and I'll just get I'll just get my money ready. I'll just get the money ready. Al says, dude in the 12th, snipe the 11th on Stafford. Let's peek that. Kyron. You mean the 10th? I copy. He should have gone. He should have gone Staffy here. No questions asked. The 10th spot has Puka, though. The fact that he went Marvin Mims here over Stafford with how the room's been drafting QBs is just a mega oversight. Just not paying attention to the draft room. That guy's not an auto, right? No, he's not an auto. That's before ADP. Dude, like he went Marvin Mims 16 picks before ADP. Instead of grab, grabbing his correlated QB in a room that's just taking all of the QBs right now. I like the Mooney click by Putt Daddy. <laughs> Username's also a little suspect, but Putt Daddy 78 it is. And we're one like away. I knew it was going to happen. You guys never let me down. Yeah, Al, he still needed a QB. You're right. You're right. I would have loved if the if the guys to my right knew what was going on in this room. Could have given me one of these three, but we go and get our guy, and that's never a bad thing. Pat Fry off the board. There's two people I want in this position. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? Well, they have a million running backs each. Dude, Hawkinson's falling to 153. I can't ignore that. I can't ignore that. Dude, I can't. I want to reach out for Jonu so bad. I'm just going to be a spoon. I'm just going to be a mega spoon here. We'll go for end of season upside. Get the spoons out. 33 picks on Hawk. <laughs> Let's play ball. Omega says I almost took Hawk at pick 145. I have to. He fell a full round after that. I have to. I don't care if this man plays three games. It's the end of the season. To pair with Andrews, come on. Come on. And we're still going to third. We're still going to third tight end. It's not overpaying. We got him super late. Uh, we do have to hope the. We, we want one of these three RBs. So far, so good. So far, so good. Yeah, and we were just suited. We were just suited for Hawkinson. And again, when you're balanced like that, when you can go any which way when it comes back to you, falling value, like that's why I like to draft like this. Cooks off the board. Good, good, good. Stuck at 34. I'm going to do it anyways. Chat publicly is the pound. You go to the right of the emotes. You hit the money sign. You go down to membership gifting. And you buy. Oh. You guys are killing me right now. They're killing me. Oh, uh, We'll go Kendra here. It's cool. I would have liked Algier. This dude's just like, this guy's just like, fuck a QB. <laughs> like, fuck, like, fuck the QB position. If I'm him, I'm being a coward and I'm probably drafting fields there. There's no guarantee when it comes back to him that Derek Carr's even on the board. He's going to be picking at 178. The dude's praying for Derek Carr to be on the board. That's not, I'm just salty because he took my guy. Let's be real. Let's be real. All right. Good luck. Good luck. Make sure you're subscribed. The YouTube membership giveaway 
is going live. Good luck. Does Peng get it? Imagine. Investor better, longtime follower, deserved. Congrats, dude. Congrats. And thank you guys for continuing to support the channel. I appreciate you guys. We get Kendra seven picks after ADP. I'm I'm not mad. I am glad that we had several of our guys in that range that allowed us to go Hawk first. Because I wanted either Kendra, Algier, Allen, Breland Allen would have been fine. Even Rico or Rashawn. I think the Rico bet. He's starting to get a little pricey in this 162 range. I think he's starting to cap out a little bit for me. Because they're not just going into the season with Rico. Like they're gonna bring in competition, but He's still not a bad bet as like a handcuff and maybe a guy who gets a change of pace role. Or maybe he has a pretty big role early in the season in front of a rookie. So that could always be the case as well. Awesome guy rocks. Welcome to the live stream says I'm going to join a hundred dollar draft this Friday. How different is it in a small field tournament as opposed to Oh, best ball mania. Well, uh, huge difference in, in many points in, in the draft, it's, it's different. The, the contest, how long it's open for, uh, the player movement is a lot different. Like in this contest, it's going to fill relatively quickly. So the player movement isn't as crazy. You're not worried about the people that have risen, you know, 90 picks like Jalen, Wright. Um, it's not even in the back of your head you're going and getting your guys, and then four out of, four out of twelve advance, and say a three out of twelve, and then the final being thirty four seats is you're not overly worried about correlation. Yeah, so this guy praying for Derek Carr didn't get it. I think we're gonna go tight end here. Jaseki feels good. Running back also would feel good here, but there's multiple guys. Let's go Jaseki first. All right, we're done at tight end. Omega gets sniped on Gino. Yeah, the 4 out of 12 advance is pretty big. And again, like, yes, this is 20 puppy drafts, but the chances of you making the finals is a lot, lot higher. A lot, lot higher. I do the math for you. I did it out the other day, but four divided by 12 is going to be 33% um, times uh, one out of four. So times 0.25, right? Times 0.25 to make the finals is a 2% chance. And then you have three entries. So it's about 6.25% chance that you make one of your teams to the finals doing uh, doing this high stakes. And if you do that out for the puppy for 300 bucks, I guarantee you it's going to be lower. A lot lower. <laughs> Some of those puppies are like one out of 18 advance. Antonio Gibson and Thienland. We ranked Thienland. He did make the CSV top 216. <laughs> he did make it. Barely right next to Jalen McMillan. And even then, depending on how my team falls, if I have a bunch of, if I have a bunch of guys like Devante Adams, Debo, uh, D hop, I'm probably going McMillan over Adam Thielen. But if I have a bunch of rookies in there, I go Thielen. I think I have him ranked like 213 or something. <laughs> He's on the board though. Everyone has their price. Nice. Now, finally, finally, they're drafting QBs, but it's too late. It's too late. People probably, I don't like doing the likely and Andrews thing. I think that's kind of dumb. Ray Davis, I think we're going RB here. I think we're going RB. Lean into Ray Davis or Estime. Let's bring in, let's bring in Ray here. 
Yeah. Grant Grant's stoked that Thielen made the list. He is on the CSV rankings. Many are saying they were worried. Many are saying. All right. Here's the squad so far. Lamar Jackson, Aaron Rodgers, Barkley, Stevenson, Eckler, Hendry Miller, Ray Davis, receiver, Garrett Wilson, Jalen Waddle, Chris Godwin, A.D. Mitchell, Mike Williams, Roman Wilson, and tight end Andrews, T.J. Hawk, and Jacecki. We're going to save a, a roster spot on the back end for an extra receiver here. Just stop it, Rodgers and Lamar, because <laughs> some of these teams' QBs are going to be so gross. This guy's got Bryce Young and Caleb just praying. Does he get another QB? Daniel Jones back to him or Minshew? Maybe one of the rookies like Penix or, or Bo Nix. I feel pretty good about our QB room. Omega ends up with Derek Carr, but had to reach up to 168 for him, which is likely smart in a room when you know it's falling this way. These teams are going early three QBs. And especially when you're on when you're on the ends of the draft, when you're in the one, you're in the two, or you're in the back end, 11 and 12, you, ha you have to make an estimate. Like, who's going to make it back to me at 192? There's no way Derek Carr is making it back to him. So, in my opinion, that was smart. Chip on Baker is one of the clicks we would like. We're going to try to catch up at receiver here. Nez, what's up, dude? Welcome to the live stream, man. Another one. We have to get you back on. Falling to us just the way we planned. Honestly, a team like this, yeah, we have we have Godwin, who's sort of a floor guy. I wouldn't mind bringing in a Tyler Boyd and then another rookie receiver. AD, we have Mike Williams, who disappears. You're basically hoping for, what, four or five spike weeks out of Mike Williams, and you're happy? It's just the single-game ceiling, I think, is the most appealing for Mike Williams. Bateman correlation, I still hate it. I would probably rank it like this. Are we okay with just getting two rookies here, though? Like, are we okay with just getting Burton and Malik Washington, or would we rather one of Boyd and one of those two? That's the question. We're going to risk it. Let's go Burton here first. No one can say we're an ADP whore after this. Even though, even though I always got the spoon out. You gotta be careful. You never know. You never know when I'm gonna scoop. We went, we went and created this team. We went and built this squad with the, the hashtag R guys. Didn't expect a TJ Hawk on this team. Didn't expect it. He definitely fell to the right place, that's for sure. Jermaine Burton, and we have three picks left. One more running back, two more receivers. One more running back, two more receivers. Where did J.K. Dobbins go? I'm just curious. Dennis scooped him at 195. After the positive news, it's not it's not a bad click, but Tyler Boyd off the board. Okay. We might be leaning into these rookies. I don't I like the Bateman click. We tried out Josh Reynolds. Like they're clearly looking for other guys. Odell's not coming back. Rashad Bateman's better than Josh Reynolds, right? He's gotta be. He's gotta be. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to be. All right. This team scoops Daniel Jones, four QBs. <laughs> I like it. I mean, he probably had to. It, we're going Bateman here. We're going Bateman here, aren't we? It's the right spot. 208 correlated. 22 picks after ADP. It's the right spot. 
It's the right spot. Do the right thing. We bring in Bateman. Now the receiver group is Wilson, Waddle, Godwin, A.D. Mitchell, Mike Williams, Roman Wilson, Jermaine Burton, and Rashad Bateman. We have two picks left still. <laughs> There's, But wait, there's more. One running back, one receiver incoming. My God. Yeah, these rooms are definitely different than the regular big board. This guy bringing in four QBs. I guess this guy is just relying on Caleb and Bryce Young. I'm definitely bringing in Daniel Jones there at 207 and just praying the guy can keep his team at 500 to keep his job. Uh, 12 spot Kyler, Staffy, and Will Levis. I'm cool with that group. He reached out for Levis here, which I think is smart. Uh, playmaker, I'm just seeing a comment. Which the rookie wide receiver have you scrolled down the furthest at the end of the draft? Kendall Milton's running back. Vape. Which rookie receiver? Probably Smith. How far down Smith? Or Taj Washington is another one. But I think Taj Washington goes... I like Parker Washington as well. He's deep, but he's not a rookie. Second-year guy. Where's Taj? Where are you at? Who's further down Taj is? <laughs> yeah, Taj. Taj is probably my deepest, my deepest guy. You might see one click here. I'll probably put Park at the top here. Oh my god, the comments are going off. All right, back end. Jalen McMillan goes to go Vikes. Drafting a nice team. I'm gonna like this squad. Let's cover it now because we're gonna have to fly after this. Lamb, Josh Allen, Debo, T. Higgs, Trey McBride went double elite cute uh, tight end. Alvin Kamara at 76. Will fall on Kamara. Jordan Love scooped. Go Vikes with scoop and value in this one. Brian Robinson Jr., Zach Moss, Ladd, Wicks to pair with Love, Gus Edwards fall even at 148. And this isn't like people were getting Gus Edwards, you know, at a much cheaper price. This contest opened after that, after the, the price adjustment, so the ADP adjustment. So that's... And we're back. <laughs> and we are back. Are we back? No, we got Smith. Oh, my God. What? When the internet fails, but what even was that? All right, we're back in. Okay. We got to queue up, guys. So 
So we're we're leaning in. We are leaning in. We autoed Smith, which I would have rathered Parker Washington in this spot, just a year or two guy to pair with a few rookies, but we might be go going dusty old back with Zeke here. If Zeke goes off the board, I'm almost tempted to just bring in another receiver. Barkley, Stevenson, Eckler, Miller, and Ray Davis. Hmm. I don't want to just lean into that group. We're doing it. We're leaning into this five RB group. It's probably just going to be a huge bet on Miller and Ray Davis, like Ray Davis finding a good landing spot. Miller, Miller having a pretty good run out with Kamara potentially. But yeah, Zeke, he would have added a little bit of floor, but. Let's let's live a little bit. And we don't have a double stack in Jacksville, so it, I like that. That's wild. That's why you always have them queued in order, I guess, because you could lose connection. <laughs> Dude, something happened in every single stream, every single high-stakes draft. There was something that just went either wrong or crazy, an auto-drafter ending up with the live squad. <laughs> He didn't pay the internet bill. Oh, man. Make him pay. Make him pay. This is the squad. All right. One spot. Christian, uh, Christian McCaffrey, Jalen Hurts, Smith. So a little unique combo. Reed, Christian Kirk, David Montgomery, JSN, Worthy, Benson, Goddard, Troy Franklin, Marshawn Lloyd, Ricky Pearsall, Derek Carr. Gets A.T. Perry, too. Nice. Elijah Mitchell, Tucker Craft, Javon Baker, and Kenneth Gainwell. Omega had a nice draft. Yeah, I think they did, Josh. They say they're DDoSing you. 100%. That's exactly what happened. Um, we covered Dennis's squad. He ends up with Palmer, Tank, Bigsby. I like the click at 219. Israel Abanaconda, even. If either one of those are there at this 225 spot, I'm glad they're, they weren't when I lost connection. Because what am I doing here? I'm probably going Zeke and then Parker Washington. But where we get this rookie, I don't love, I don't just love this group, I guess. Now, if this was Tyler Boyd, we probably just changed the order of stuff. But that was a really, that was, that was a competitive room. People, like, we could have absolutely fell super far behind it at QB. But that's the, that's the benefit of just sort of, sort of staying involved in each draft room and i think that's something i'm going to try to work on and be better at is do less drafts like at a single time i remember last year i was doing like four at a time really limit it probably to two because you can only pay attention to so many draft rooms so many draft boards at the same time especially on the phone but i appreciate everyone coming out if you guys enjoyed tonight's live stream slap the like on the way out hit the subscribe button we're gonna be doing plenty more of high stakes this off season and uh if you guys are interested in the CSV rankings or the draft guide, the link is in the description for those. So appreciate you guys, and we'll catch you on the next one. Ponders.